Welcome to this technical corner where we'll be looking at the fifth axis machines, the U-series range from Takumi, supplied by Leader CNC Technologies. Now we're going to be looking at them from a technical perspective, Paul, starting with the UC range. Now we're going to be putting the video on now. Can you explain and talk us through the ranges, please. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, the U series, the UC series is what they kind of class as their their entry level machine. I mean, with, with Takumi, we've seen a few installations around the UK, but but more often than not, we've seen these at exhibitions, haven't we? And been it's been quite impressive to see the machines in action. But this is the end, what they class as their entry level, um, and and it's correct in the sense that lots of sales guys say, well, you know a lot of engineers don't need four five axes simultaneous and, and they don't. So this type of machine where you've got four simultaneous axes and one positional axis is a, is a perfect fit for the majority for the majority of five axis requirements. So generally if you're looking at five face machining then this type of machine is a, a good option and a good you know um, a good yeah good option. Now this particular configuration of fifth axis machine is built upon the H series I believe. Yeah so the H series now that's a dual column uh, design so you've got full support around the machining envelope and that's important um, that's important for stability it's important to get the, the best in, in, in positional tolerance but accuracy of the components as well. Um, and also with the way that Takumi build their machines, they have like this step design where the spindle is supported across the bridge. And it's not just where they put the one linear guide on top of another. It's actually in a stepped motion, which means that it stops any deflection when you're machining. So for things like harder materials, hitting components harder, you, you are assured that you've got um, you know, a, a superb machining environment. You can see here, this is how the Takumi machines are made. They're hand scraped. Now, you know, I've mentioned on a few technical corners that I've actually done this procedure and I've actually seen the results that you get from making machines like this on, in terms of how long they last and how good they are. With this uh, double column configuration on a fifth axis machine, it will also give you a greater y-axis and, and I assume that when using a trunnion style most of the work is going to be with the trunnion being at 90 degrees so that really comes in handy. It does and you've got greater access to the machine, the ergonomics, all of those features um, make the way the machine is built and designed perfect for five-face machining which is the UC range. So UC range is great now we're moving on to the UC, U, U range sorry Paul now this is full fifth axis simultaneous machining for them components that require it. Talk us through this configuration from Takumi. Well I think that's the biggest difference here it's the five axis simultaneous motion all of the other areas that we've spoken about about the the dual column design um, all of those factors are incorporated into this machine as well. But I think what's quite interesting about this, when you start going into five axis simultaneous, there's so many incidents and accidents that you worry about that could happen. And the way the kinematics are on this machine and the way, the way that is um, sort of synchronized with the control means that there are certain things within it that assure you don't get you know collisions and you know they help you with collision avoidance maybe not quite to the level that a, a cam system would or you know another verification system but they certainly put you in a position where you don't have to worry as much about how you program things because having a, a bang on a machine like this can be can be of course um, expensive but it but it's a full five axis simultaneous machining I would I would applaud the access again to these machines the way they're constructed the way they're built um, for you know various applications in all industries with the Heidenhain controls. So Heidenhain controls you mentioned kinematics this is extremely important and it means that you can present the component anywhere on the, on the machine bed and it will be able to figure out the datum points. Mm. Um, we did an, uh, a video recently at Paddock Gears uh, Paul where they're actually manufacturing gears on a Takumi fifth axis machine. Now this really illustrates the accuracy of the Takumi fifth axis. These particular gears were previously manufactured on a dedicated gear cutting machine. Tell us how 
they can achieve this. Well, this is the this is the next level on, isn't it? This is where a lot of machine tool manufacturers are now trying to produce machines and provide machines that are capable of doing you know multitasking and different operations and gear cutting. Obviously, is one here. Now, there's there's a lot that goes into. Um, it's not just the hardware, the software that needs to create um, create the the cycle and the um, the paths for the machining, but to get the standards of accuracy that you need for some gear cutting, you need a machine that is ultra in its precision. And this machine does this um, in, in the sense that I'm using, I'll talk about the dual column machine, the way you've got the stability of the spindle. Also the fact that you don't get any thermal growth with these machines, they have the, the, the spindles on these have got cartridges which are, um, they've got like a, a, a heat barrier between that and the casting, so there's no dissipation of, of heat around the casting, which would cause growth, which would affect the accuracy of gears. There's lots of these things. The fact that some of these gears might be harder materials as well, so they're more durable, the higher speed spindles. You know, you've got a, a 22 kilowatt spindle on this machine, um, but it's a direct drive, you know, big plus spindle. So all of those features all together give you the precision that you um, that you require to do things other than just milling. Brilliant range of fifth axis machine tools, Paul. These are not the only range. They've also got the UB range, uh, yeah. which maybe you can touch yeah, upon. Well, the, the, and we can see the range come up on screen shortly. Um, the, but large range. Yeah, the fundamental difference with the UB range, which is which a lot of machine tool builders do, is when they start to get components that are a little bit bigger, they're a little bit heavier. Um, of course, you imagine putting them on a trunnion table and you're tipping the table. That uh, Essentially, the it's going to wear the machine at some point. It's it's just mother nature. It's science, you know. Um, whereas with with some of the bigger machines, you can actually then take the um, or move the spindle in order to whichever face the part is being machined or needs to be machined. Therefore, you're not continually moving. And, and here we see as an example here, this is obviously a, a five-axis machine where if the component was much bigger on the table than what we're seeing there, you're not having to you know, move, maneuver that on a trunnion, you're simply going to move the spindle to the component, which is a big different, it's a different way, a different configuration of five axis. But as we've seen here, you've still got this dual column mechanism with all of the features and benefits that we've, we've mentioned for thermal stability, precision, and of course, um, you know, five face machining and simultaneous machining. I think you've absolutely nailed everything everything that I've got on my sheet so Good. thank you very much so there you have it the fifth axis machine tool range from Takumi offered in the UK by leader CNC technology they'll also offer you a, a turnkey package with any machine that you decide to buy <laughs>